Hello everyone. It's James again. And today I want to talk about the utter confusion the narcissist can leave their victim in. Once they are done abusing them. Or if they're in the middle stages of abusing them for that matter. You see this is what we call crazy making. And the tactics and things they do to or did to you were done on purpose. You see brainwashing is a process. It's a process that often starts off slow to gain the victim's trust. Or in some cases you have no choice but to go along with it. Because you are born into a family full of narcissists and other mentally ill people slash demons. That being said. They know it's a process. Because they know and remember what was done to them as a child. And they are just repeating the cycle. And this is a cycle or pattern of abuse they now find they get a feeling of pleasure when they are on the controlling end of the puppet's strings. It's kind of like a cat playing with a mouse before it kills the mouse. Something in this cat it appears likes to see the confusion on the mouse's face. Watching it get startled. Confused. Scared. And then lulled into maybe even thinking the cat is trying to help it. Only to be startled and scared all over again. Before you know it. The mouse literally starts going mad and not knowing which way to turn. Well your abuser is the cat in this instance. And they are getting and got enjoyment from your confused state. What makes matters worse is when you are away from these people and you're still confused. Confused about who you are as a person. This is especially true for those raised by a narcissist. Though it can also happen to those dating or married to a narcissist. Because the main goal of any narcissist is to totally and over time strip you. To strip you of any identity you think you have. And make you take on the identity they want you to have. And that's the identity of servant. Of the blame taker. And that's the identity of dumb and stupid. Or being incompetent. And any and all negative traits they want you to own. Traits that really aren't yours. And often traits that are really the narcissists. That being said. There's no manual given to you saying okay. You're away from the narcissist. Here's how to find yourself. Here's how to unconfuse yourself. Here's how to undo the years and years and years of brainwashing. Here's how to stop being a little scared mouse. And here's how to take on life like a lion. And no one is there to say. The longer you stay confused the more you will have target written on your forehead for other narcissists to see. So they can walk their way into your life. Promising to have the key and answer to all of your problems. Only to abuse you all over again. Leaving you further confused. So what's the answer? The answer is time. And the answer is taking a big step back. You see. You were turned into this confused person over a long period of time. And fixing yourself won't be easy. And it won't happen overnight. Even if you just discovered narcissism and narcissistic abuse. Like I've mentioned before. There are many layers to this problem. And many layers to the abuse you suffered. And you must be willing to take the time needed to learn about what happened to you. What and how it affected you. What normal behavior looks like. And what your life purpose is. And what healthy boundaries are to protect that life purpose. And furthermore how to implement these boundaries. It all takes time. And sometimes when you think you've made strides. You might find yourself confused all over again. And you need to realize. That's okay. It's quite okay. It takes time to build good life habits. And good life understanding. Remember something. Time and patience are closely related. And as long as you are doing something to better yourself. No matter it be taking walks every day and reflecting on your life. Or taking a class surrounding yourself with positive happy people. To balance out the depression you might feel by reading other stories that sound like your family of origin. You are indeed moving forward and in my book doing a lot. And when doing this. Stop feeling like you owe society this completed version of yourself tomorrow. Take the time to really find out who you are. Deep down who you really are. Invest in yourself. 
not just money. But like I said time. Stop spending your time worrying so hard about what you think you must do to make this person happy. Or that person happy. Or this stranger in your class happy. Slow down. And think and work on your life purpose. In one of my last videos. It was asked how I didn't end up like my narcissist mother. And the fact is. Though I didn't have many of the bad traits of my mother. Such as having no empathy. But like many narcissistic abuse survivors. I used to blab my life and tell people things they didn't need to know about me to perfect strangers. Or to new friends. Now a good part of this had to do with how the narcissist always put us on trial to where we always felt like we needed to prove ourselves to them. But the other part was quite simply. My mother would talk people's ears off about nonsense. She would gossip endlessly. And even though I had an uneasy feeling about it all. It was all I knew to be normal. I know for sure I lost out on good friendships because I at times came across weird to some people I met. Including potential women I found attractive. And these women that found me attractive as well. And just as a side note. That's a bad misconception that narcissists are always super attractive and their victims are homely. Narcissists can be super attractive and they can be homely as well. And the same is true with the victims of narcissistic abuse. I think it was NPD girlfriend that said. Forgive me if I'm wrong. But that there are many normal and good looking people out there that went through what we went through. And that are speaking out about such a problem. And they are also beautiful on the inside as well. And they seem like they have a lot to offer. Again if that wasn't you that said that NPD girlfriend. I'm sorry. But I remember hearing this on a recent video I watched. And it's true. It's very true. And again that's not to say victims can't be not attractive as well. But the reality is you would be shocked. Shocked they come in all shapes. Sizes. Attractive and non-attractive levels and backgrounds. And how this worked out for me growing up the way I did. After talking with people I knew years before. I was told I was seen as attractive by them. Though I was completely completely asleep to this fact. And I was also seen as really nice. But something would happen. When a new young lady would get close to me. Quickly after they would leave just as fast. And it was because I would talk about things that would be a big put off to her. Things that for me now are out of character. But for me back then were normal. I blabbed on about things that made me come off as the only way I can put it is strange. Very strange. And for them it was a big curveball. Here they were talking to a guy they were attracted to. But when I started to talk to them. I was seen as a super weirdo. So though I didn't completely act like my mother. I did learn some toxic behavior traits that drove away potentially good people. Then people like Susie enter our life. And they realize we aren't wrapped too tight. But boy oh boy they make us feel like we are. And getting that love bombing feels so good. Because it's the first time we've felt love. And we are hooked. But how did all of this take place? I was confused. I was a confused young guy. I never was in a place where I could develop uniquely who I was to become. Instead I absorbed bad traits from crazy people. And as a result as mentioned before. I would see the rolling of the eyes from some people regarding things I would say and do. And I would go home feeling so bad. And I knew. I knew there was something wrong. But I just didn't know how to fix it. You see good parents don't want their children to be confused. Because being confused in life is dangerous because the world can be and is a hard place. And if you are confused. You will get eaten alive. Usually by narcissists and other evil people. So they nurture and help them along as they develop their unique personalities. They give them a good example to follow. And encourage the positives they see them do. And talk to them about the negatives. But a narcissist. A narcissist wants you confused. Think about our narcissistic society I recently talked about. Those that rule this earth. 
Yes. I said it. Those that rule this earth want you confused to this fact. Because if you are confused, you are a lot less likely to stop going along with their plans and agendas. Well your narcissist parent or abuser is exactly the same way. They don't benefit at all from you thinking clearly. And they know. If you are acting weird and saying and doing weird things as a child, they know you're going to push away good people. They bank on this fact. They know this because the same thing happened to them. I guarantee it. They know they lost potential friends as well over the years from their strange behavior. And they see you doing the same thing. And instead of talking to you. And helping you out. They let you wreck your life. Because if you actually make a good true friend. A friend with a healthy life that is from a healthy family. You might just wake up from the brainwashing they work so hard to implement into your life. Narcissists don't want their victims especially their children to live normal lives. And the best way to do this is keep them from normal people. And the best way to do that is make it so they act weird enough to make normal people to not want to be around them. And for me. It wasn't always at first conversation. It might have been a few conversations in. Where for some reason in my mind I thought this person was my best friend and I would go on and on. Telling them all kinds of things that really was a bit too much. And that came across the wrong way. Or we might try so hard to impress others to where it came across as hyper arrogance. When we just wanted to be liked. And was just going about it in the wrong way. And it all comes back to confusion. Now what helped me besides learning about narcissistic abuse and that I wasn't alone, was giving myself time to properly digest this information, and learning what to do with it, to learn about healthy behavior versus unhealthy, learning how what happened to me and how it affected my life and behavior, and again properly taking the time to digest this information, and through all of this, taking big steps back asking myself, who am I, who am I, who am I, and each time I asked myself that question, I wasn't expecting an immediate answer. That this answer would come in time. I realized observing and learning the art of being quiet at times. To think before I spoke. And in doing so, I understood. I'm still a happy person that loves to meet new people. Shake hands and smile. But this person is a perfect stranger. There are certain things that shouldn't be shared with them. I went deep into why someone healthy might be taken aback and not want to get involved. With such a person like I was before. It made sense to me. Because now at the stage I'm at. I wouldn't want to get involved with such a person as well. Because it's really hard to tell at first glance. Is this person a narcissist or is this person a codependent? Either one isn't good. Even though the codependent has a chance at a normal life if they do the self-work. But like the healthy person. They don't take that chance and they move on about their life. And to be honest that's a very good boundary to have to avoid life trouble. And throughout this journey the confusion slowly starts to brighten up. To where you can see clearly. And you say. Okay. I think I see what's going on. And even for me. I still kick myself from time to time. Though I try my best to remind myself. Don't do that. That's what the devil wants. You didn't know any better at the time. You were confused and turned upside down in life. But now. Now is the time to do better. So if you're confused. Which is very 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 normal. Take a step back. Think about your life. If there is a good therapist out there that knows about narcissistic abuse and narcissistic families if you came from one. Talk to them. If you don't have this option available. There is the comment section in not just my videos but others out there as well. Where iron sharpens iron. Where your story can be told and you can learn from one another. Real people that went through this mess. So you can start to ask yourself. Who am I? Who am I? What's my life purpose? How do I get there? 
and what do I need to learn and do to protect this life purpose? How do I become the best version of myself? How do I attract positive people into my life? How can I discern the bad people from the good? And this I say to you for those that are on this journey of self-betterment. Take the time. And this time you take invest into yourself. You are worth it. You were created in God's image. And you are no longer someone's abuse robot. You have a unique and beautiful personality and way. It just takes time to find it. Well that's all I have for now. I thank you for your subscription. I thank you for your support. Keep on sharing and liking to make sure this information is easy for others to find. Because you never know who will benefit from this information you share. Also, if you haven't clicked the little bell, please do so. So you can be alerted each and every time I upload a new video. With that being said, let's keep praying for wisdom. Let's keep praying for strength. And as always, bye for now and be good to yourself.